Good morning. Hey, Harpy Sherry. Good morning. Hey, Harpy Devon. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, Harpy Carolyn. Good morning. Hey, Harpy Tanya. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, Harpy Val. Good morning. Harpy Rubble. Harpy Juanita. Harpy Anita. Good morning. Good morning to you guys. How are you this morning? How are you? Happy belated birthday, Harpy Devon. <laughs> Hope you had a great day. Hey, Harpy Rachel. Hey, Harpy Tisha. Hey, Harpy Carolyn. Harpy Belinda. Good morning to you guys. Happy Tuesday. Happy, happy, happy Tuesday. Well, good morning. I am Regina Banks, your GPS to wholeness. Welcome to the Gathering of Hearts. And this morning, your daily dosage continues on from yesterday. It is a heart that truly forgives. Amen. Hey, Heartbeat Eva, Heartbeat Christine, a heart that truly forgives. And you know, yesterday we stopped well, we stopped off. We were in um, Genesis chapter 50 and we were talking about Joseph. So we had gotten to the point. We had gone through him being in a pit, from the pit to the palace. Now we're at the point where he is meeting his brothers and say, I told you guys, hey, heartbeat Doris, heartbeat Troy. I told you guys that this um, account really shows a heart that truly forgives. It walks through all of the stages that we have been talking about. And so we're going to pick right up in um, verse, thir verse 20. And it, and it reads this. Again, Genesis 50, verse 20. Hey, heartbeat Andrea. It says, as for you, you meant evil against me, but God meant it for good in order to bring about the present outcome that people may be kept alive as they are this day. And then we see here that he rejoiced in what happened because he knew that it was bigger than him. That although he had to go through a whole lot, although, you know, it was painful, but he recognized that there was a bigger picture, that it's not about him, that it was about God and it was about saving other lives. And so although we go through things, although it hurts, although it's very painful, we've got to be able to still forgive, recognizing that although I went through this pain, Although I went through this hurt, God was still there and he kept me through it all. I didn't lose my mind. I may have cried tears. I may have stayed isolated. I may not have wanted to talk on the phone, but through it all, it was God that kept me through this. And because God has kept me through it, that means he wants better for me. Because God was there for me, that means that I'm an overcomer, that I don't have to stay in this situation. See, forgiveness is a choice. You make a decision whether or not you want to allow or continue to allow someone to control you, meaning control your emotions, or you make the decision that I am going to take charge of my own emotions. I am going to walk in love and I am going to be the greater example because it's all about God. Because in the end, God gets the glory out of it all. You know, we have been taught that if I give in or if I'm the one that's the peacemaker, that I'm weak. Actually, it shows that you are strong because you're not worried about what somebody thinks. All you're concerned about is pleasing the Father. Amen. Verse 21. So now, do not be afraid. I will provide for you and support you and your little ones so be comforted that, that so mm, so he comforted them giving them encouragement and hope and spoke with kindness to their hearts and see here in verse 21 it goes back to what we talked about blessing your offender praying for your offender you know doing good in the spite of evil you know uh, um going back to romans 12 i believe it was 21 going back to doing more good than evil and so it says he blessed his offenders. And remember, we talked about this. When you pray, that is what you do. So you forget about everything that they have done to you. All you know is I'm going to be the better one. I'm going to be the one that forgives. I'm going to be the one that can walk into the blessing because I am not holding a grudge. And so that's what we've got to remember. And I want to just share this um, um, story with you guys before I let you go this morning. Um, Jerry Seville. He told one day he was teaching about forgiveness and he told about 
um, an incident where there was this woman that he knew he had gone to visit her in the hospital. And he said that she was very ill, very sick. And um, he went to her. He told her that God said, I will heal you if you forgive your husband. She had been angry with her husband for over 20 years because of the act of adultery. And God sent a word to her saying that I will heal you if you would simply forgive. Do you know this woman refused to forgive her husband and she died? And what am I telling you? Bitterness and resentment and anger and hurt had tormented her. Her life caused sickness on her. She had that thing carrying that grudge so long that even a word of forgiveness could heal her. She could not forgive. What am I saying to you on this morning, Heartbeat Nation? You have got to let the offense go. You've got to you got to let the offense go. You've got to let the offense go. You've got to let the offense go. God wants to do so much for you. Isn't it amazing? I was um sharing with Heartbeat Andrea, Pastor Andrea, that you know, the word that has been going forth in the kingdom is forgiveness, that God is trying to get a word to his people because there's so much that he has for you, but what's clogging up the blessing is what's in your heart. You don't have forgiveness in your heart. And so I'm telling you this morning, almost pleading with you, I don't care how long you've been carrying that thing. It's time to let it go. Did it hurt? Yes, it did. Is it still painful? Yes, it is. But God wants to do the miraculous in his life, in your life. Remember, we talked about when we carry unforgiveness in our hearts, that it ties the hands of the Holy One of Israel, which means that God cannot release the blessing to you because you have tied his hands. So I'm saying to you on this morning, untie the knot. Allow God to bless you like he's always envisioned. Allow God to heal you. See, you try, you're try. you trying to do it on your own. That's never going to work. You Look at your life. How's that gun for you? How's that ferret for you? It's not going to work. You have got to allow the creator, the one who created you, the one who created your heart, the one that can touch your heart and tell your heart to beat again. You've got to give it to him. Let this unforgiveness go. Because God wants to bless your life. And so here in the account with Joseph, we see that Joseph walked through all of this. And I'm telling you, none of us have experienced what Joseph experienced. But he is a great example that no matter what I've been through, no matter what you've done to me, although the weapon formed, it won't prosper. No matter what I've been through, I'll still praise God. I'll still hold up my hands and re rejoice in God. He shows us that you can make it, that it is possible for you to forgive. He made the decision decision to forgive. Think about it. They were right in his face. He could have done anything. He was a man in charge. He could have killed them. He had the power to do it, but he didn't do it. He did the will of the father. And that's what I'm saying to you. You have the power to forgive. You may think that you don't, but it is on the inside of you. And let me just address the offender just in case that you, that's you. You don't fall into the category where you were hurt, but you are the offender. If you are the offender, I'm telling you today that you have got to surrender to God and allow God to heal the brokenness in your life. That's why you continuously offend people. That's why you continuously hurt people because hurt people hurt people. And so you've got to allow God to heal you as well. No longer being the offender and no longer being the victim. Have a heart that truly forgives for the person who is the offender has been offended him or herself. And that is the reason why you're doing the things that you do. But today is your day. Today is the day that that curse is broken. Today is the day that the barrier is now broken over your life where you can now walk into true forgiveness. Allow God to heal your brokenness. Allow God to restore your family. Allow God to restore relationships. Allow God to restore his relationship with you so that you now trust that he is the one that can heal your brokenness. He is the one that can heal your hurt. You've got to do that on today. You can no longer carry this grudge. You can no longer carry the weight because the weight is beating you down and is stopping you from walking into the future that God has for you. I'm telling you today is your day. Heartbeat Nation, wherever you are, begin to pray and intercede for our family that 
that's on this live stream on this morning because there is someone this morning that is carrying a weight that has got, been too heavy and it's getting way too heavy and they need to release that thing on this morning. Lord God, in the master's name of Jesus, we thank you that you are Jehovah Rapha, that you are our healer, Lord God. I lift up every heartbeat to you right now in the name of Jesus and declare and decree healing to them now, Lord God, that you will go wherever they are, touch their heart, Lord God, cause their heart to beat again, Lord God. Let them release that person now, God, in the name of Jesus. Give them a strategic plan, Lord God, be it they contact that person or be it they just allow you to heal their brokenness. Lord God, I believe I receive what I'm saying on today. I release healing over this live stream right now that today is the last day that you will carry that weight. You will now cast that over to Jesus for he said, cast all of your cares unto me because I care for you. Give that to him because it's too heavy for you to carry and it's now time for you to be free. I release freedom over this live stream today. You will be happy. You will be whole. You will smile again and you will live the life that God has created for you to live in Jesus name. If you believe you received that, come on, type in the chat that I believe I received, that I am healed, that I am happy, that I am whole and that I have a heart that truly forgives. Well, that is your daily dosage for today. I am Regina Banks, your GPS to wholeness. I love you guys a bunch. Make sure you share this video so that someone else can get free on today. If you ha have not subscribed to the YouTube channel, please do so. There you can find all of your dosages in one place. Follow me on all social media platforms. God Wants Me Whole. Don't forget to visit the website GodWantsMeWhole.org. Also, on this Friday night, it will be part two with my special guest, Latonya Burgess, as she shares how she's coping with grief during these holidays. I'm telling you, it will bless your life. She gave some good nuggets on last week. And so we're going to finish that up on this week. Also, tune in on the, uh, the following week where I'll have clinical psychologist Dr. Andrea Williams, and she'll be giving a clinical perspective on grief, how to overcome it, when you know you need to take the steps to get professional help. So you want to tune in. And then don't forget, December 18th, it's the Gathering of Hearts Meet and Greet. And guess what? You can get your ticket today. Go to the website. It's there. God wants me org slash conference. You can get your ticket today. We no longer have to look at bubbles. We can look at each other in our faces. We're going to have a good time. I'm excited. I cannot wait to meet you. Um, the cost is $25 and it covers your registration and your food. And we're going to have some good food and some real good desserts. I told y'all I love to eat. I am a pantophagus eater. So we're going to have a good time. I can't wait to meet you and I can't wait to see you guys meeting each other. Go to the website and get your ticket today. I love you guys a bunch and I will see you tomorrow morning at 7 30 a.m. Come on, let's close it out. Say God wants me whole and I am getting whole by the minute. I love you guys a bunch and I will see you tomorrow morning.